I just asked a platinum winning record producer what his ideal home studio setup would be and his answer just might shock you. Welcome to the Home Studio Academy, my name is Nolan Freitas and today we're going to be talking about one of the most influential people in my music career which is Warren Hewitt. If you're unfamiliar with him, he's the CEO and founder of the Produce Like a Pro YouTube channel. In addition, he has produced many award-winning records from big name artists such as Aerosmith, Adele, James Blunt, and The Fray, just to name a few. And last week, he just released his book called Home Recording Studio, The Complete Guide. And me being a big fan of Warren, I just went out and I bought the book. And if you're just getting started with music production, I'll leave a link to both his book and his YouTube channel in the description below in case you want to check it out. Last week he did an interview to promote his book and in the comment section he said ask me anything. So even knowing that he has hundreds of thousands of subscribers I decided to take a chance and here's what I asked him. If you had to start over from scratch what mic, interface, guitar, amp, headphones, monitors would you buy to rebuild a minimal home studio setup? To my surprise, he actually answered my question and here's what he said. Huge question. For best value for money, currently it changes the Audient ID24, then expanding it with the Audient SP8, a Lewitt LCT640TS microphone, Audio-Technica headphones, Kali Audio IN8s, Yamaha Rev Star, cheapest guitar is amazing, into a Fender Tone Master amplifier. So now let's take a closer look to each essential in this home studio, and of course I'm gonna leave the links to everything I talk about in the description below. Starting out with the Audient ID24 audio interface. This has recently just been released by Audient, and it will retail for $399. And after recording for 15 years, I can tell you that this may just be the most feature-packed two-channel interface in the market today. On the front, you're gonna be able to connect your guitar or your bass. It also has two connections for headphones, in case you're recording yourself, plus another talent. On top of the interface, you have your master control wheel, which is gonna control the levels of the interface, as well as your DAW plugins. It will also have LED indicators for both channels one and two, and each channel comes equipped with a 48 volt switch, a high pass filter to roll off the low end of your recordings, and a pad switch which will allow you to record very loud audio sources. On the back, you can connect up to two XLR or instrument cables, as well as two pairs of studio monitors. It also comes equipped with sends in and out, so if you have outboard gear like a compressor or a preamp, you can connect it to the interface. It also has optical ins and outs to expand the number of channels of the interface. And to do that, Warren has recommended the SBA interface, which comes with eight channels, and it does retail for $499, which is a steal. But the coolest feature about this interface is that it has a smart gain control knob, and this is gonna be great for beginners because you're not gonna have to worry about the technical sides of recording. The interface is gonna set all the levels for you. The next essential in his setup was the Lewitt LCT640TS microphone. Warren is known for being a fan of the Lewitt brand and and he was the reason why I went out and I purchased the LCT 440 Pure. And I gotta tell you, I really like this microphone and I've even reviewed it on the channel. I'll leave the link to it here if you wanna check it out. But the 640 is definitely the big brother of the 440 and it has many unique features built into the microphone itself. The first being the fact that this microphone has a multipolar pattern, which means you can record from the front of the capsule, behind the capsule, omnidirectional. I mean, there are many polar patterns to choose from. In addition, it also comes with a built-in high-pass filter and a pad switch on the microphone, which will give you a lot of flexibility when recording. And I think that is why he recommended this mic, because it's just so well-rounded and it can be, you know, used to record anything from drums to vocals to pretty much any instrument in any application. This microphone does retail for $899 at the time of shooting this video, but if you're looking to invest in one single microphone that can do it all, this just might be it. Moving on, he also mentioned Audio-Technica headphones, and after doing a little bit of research in his channel, I believe he's talking about the 20Xs, 
because those are only $49. They're very comfortable and reliable, and I think you're gonna get a lot of return for your money. And for studio monitors, he recommended the Kali Audio IN8s. Those cost $499 for the pair. And from looking at the background, you could probably guess who influenced me in buying the Kali Audio LP6s. I gotta tell you, these monitors sound great and my mixes translate very well regardless of where I listen to them. But the coolest feature about Kali Audio monitors is that on the back of the actual monitor, it comes with these placement charts. So regardless of where you place your monitors, all you have to do is look at the charts, change the settings, and you will give you a very reliable response out of the monitors. Next, his go-to guitar is the Yamaha Revstar, which goes for $499. And last but not least, his go-to amplifier is the Fender Tone Master, and this is by far the most expensive part of this entire setup, which goes for $949. I believe he does use it in the clean channel, but then he adds pedals to shape the sound of his guitar tone. So if we sum up all of this gear, the total comes out to a little bit under $3,800. With that in mind, do you need to spend $4,000 on a home studio? Absolutely not. This is coming from a platinum winning record producer and of course his needs may be very different than your needs. So before you go out and start investing in your own home studio, I would encourage you to think about what are your needs and what are you planning to record. For example, if you're just recording yourself, there's absolutely no need to get a 8 channel interface because you're most likely just going to be recording your voice and your instrument, so you don't need more than two inputs. Likewise, if you're not a guitar player, you don't need to spend $1500 on a guitar and an amplifier. So of course, I would just think about the brands that he mentioned and try to see which products from these brands you could implement in your home studio. And I can tell you from personal experience, I am very happy with his recommendation with the Lewitt mic and the Kali audio monitors. With that being said, I would love to hear your opinion. So let me know down below in the comments, what did you think of his ideal setup and what are you currently using in your home studio? Also, if you enjoyed this type of content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to learn how to build a home studio for under $500, then make sure to click on this video.